Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? Hopefully, live stream you well. Coming back at you with another little Rock Vandy's life moments. Um, my little gift to the world, I guess, or my little video series documenting some of the things in my life and some of the life lessons that I've gone through and learned. Um, this one today is entitled The Power of Words. Um, I know we've all heard the saying before, and I've been told plenty of times, don't talk bad, don't talk bad. The, the power of life and death are in the tongue. Tongue is a powerful thing. Um, Proverbs 18 and 21 says it. And we have to remember to talk positive, to speak good things, especially in our own lives, in our children, in our family members, people that we care about. Um, you have to speak good things because I learned that lesson firsthand. Um, back in 2013, 2014, I had what I thought was my dream job, um, making a great salary. I loved my job. I loved what I was doing. But um, it was in the oil and gas field. And as oil and gas prices fell, um, I made a post on Facebook around November 2014, somewhere around there, um, talking about with gas prices like this, I might not be working long. It's not going to be good for me. Um, you know, that was November, January of that next year. I was in Brazil. I was living it up. I had uh, made a, quite a few pictures and had a great time in Brazil and everything was going good. But at the same time, my company had been bought out by another company. Uh, and the rumors of downsizing and things like that had been talked about. Um, and they had began to make layoffs. And it became a scary moment. And I, I thought back to that post and I thought back to, you know, the people at my job and we talked about it. And it's like, it's, you know, album to type. I'm always thinking positive. I said, it's no worries. Um, everything will be okay. Some of my workmates was like, no, it's not. Um, with the way things are in the market and the way gas prices are and all that kind of stuff, um, you need to prepare for the worst. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so February 2015, sitting at my desk, uh, preparing my notes for my next class, you know, getting everything together for a presentation that I had to make. And lo and behold, I get the X. Um, the facility manager came to my desk and he said, Rakeem, come with me. And that day marked a change in my life. I have been unemployed for the last year and one month. It was February 2nd, 2015 when I lost my job. But I haven't missed a beat. Uh, I was a faithful tither. I gave at my church. I gave of my time. I, I tied off of my salary. I made a great salary. I had no problem giving the money um, I had money saved because my father always taught me. He said, if you can't buy it with cash, you don't need it. He told me before I went to Grambling, don't get caught up in no credit cards. You don't need any extra credit cards. Don't do this. And, you know, at first I didn't believe him and I didn't know that what he was saying would have such a tremendous impact on my life. But luckily, from 2013 until 2015, I saved a lot of money. Um, and when I got laid off in February, God was good to me. Uh, I didn't miss a beat. I was still able to pay my rent, my car note. Um, I had any, anything that I needed, I had. Um, I didn't tell anybody what was going on in my life because I'm not the type of person to like to ask for handouts and favors. But that's something that I've learned also, that you can't be too proud. Sometimes my pride gets in my way, and that's something that I'm working on, and God's working on with me, because I've learned so much in this year and a month about the person that I am and the person that God intends for me to be. 